Hello, Paul Pluto, Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing paid reviews because man cannot survive on Google Ads. And uh, let me tell you this, with the Google, Google Ads backlash, I depend more heavily than ever on paid reviews. So please help us out. And uh, fuckers, please tell your friends, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. Look in the description for 10 ways you can help me on YouTube. Okay, here we go. This is from Thomas. Now, Thomas is a super fan. He's requested so many videos, and he sends $20 each time. So he's really, really cool. Really cool. Hi, Archie. Hope you had a good time in Singapore. I know also the pontiff needs a few days off, but now is time for some paid reviews. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thomas. Paid reviews. Yes. Watched a few older vids today, and one of them was called a $500 watch versus a $5,000 watch. What's the difference? And uh, I compared an Oris to a Rolex Explorer. You came to the conclusion the Rolex is, wor is worth the 10 times more. You say, with the Oris, you look like a cheap-ass bastard. Whereas the, wearing the Rolex, you, like, you look like an international man of mystery and style. Let's discuss this as a new video. I think the Rolex movement is absolutely ugly. Good that it was not displayed. Rolex says their precision is plus or minus two seconds a day. Is the Oris so much worse? Don't think so. And if that is what you want, get a G-Shock or look at your iPhone. By the way, Oris is using in-house movements if I'm correctly informed. At least in some models they do, but I'm not 100% sure of that. The particular Oris you have here is the most beautiful watch true. And yes, I like the Polar Explorer 2. But to be honest, it's also not the best looking watch, especially at that price point. And it's so fucking small. So, do you really think 10 times more expensive is worth it? Better, yes, but 10 times better? I think the Oris is actually good quality. The new models are, to be honest, very beautiful in my opinion. So, think you could also say someone wearing an Oris knows about watches. <clears throat> he could have bought some expensive shit. Um... Or a fashion watch, but he bought an Oris. <coughs> he maybe just can't afford more at the moment, but still wanted a nice Swiss watch he's proud of. Whereas one who buys the overpriced Rolex is just absolutely boring, uninspired, only bought it because everyone has it. A would be if they could be. Wants to impress and show off. But also to show off, it's not <clears throat> the best option because there are way better watches. It's the best watch to impress people who know absolutely nothing about watches. So I think Rolex is way overrated. Iconic, famous, yes, 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 but boring shit. Small, overpriced shit. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, the Rolex, in my opinion, is nice, but it's overpriced. Uninteresting, boring shit. My Audemars Piguet has such a nice display back. <coughs> I love it to death. Or your world time. These are stunning watches, not a piece that everyone has. Also, the Speedmaster that I recently bought and love is such an interesting watch. Good bang per buck. And yes, just makes you happy. Oris has so <clears throat> many nice pieces. I, I really think of buying one for my collection. I guess I'd rather proudly wear an Oris than a fucking mass-produced Explorer or Submariner. It's good to have a Rolex, but 10 times more comparing these two models and thinking about if it's worth it? No, I don't think so. So what do you think about my point of view 
and what do you think about the recent Oris models? Included are a few picks. $20 sent. Regards, Thomas. <coughs> well, Thomas, let's discuss that. You really have let the cat amongst the pigeons. And I gotta fucking tell you, you do raise a few valid points. You raise a few very, very valid points. And let's have a look there. The most important thing to realize is that comparing a 5000 to a 10000 to whatever $1,000 watch, there are difference in the price points. And, I mean, you know, the amazing thing is is that you can buy an Oris Swiss reliable decent watch yes yes generic movement in a lot of them yes that's true however is the rolex worth the money more and i gotta be completely honest with you i think it probably is and let let me explain see what happens is with the rolex itself has a explorer 2 this is really a great bang per buck model. These are about $5,000 on the used market. These were made up until about 2009, 2012, I think. I'll just tell you. Explorer 2, when did they change that? It was made until 2011. There you go. Then they went to the 216. 570. So this is the 40 mil. And it's a great piece. <laughs> Buy it on the second hand market. You'll always get your $5,000 back. Now the question is this. Is the Oris so much more inferior? And as a general rule of thumb. No it's not. It's not so much inferior. I mean the Rolex itself doesn't have. The Hort Horology movement. It's got a 3135 movement, which is Rolex's workhorse with the GMT module on it. Now, the reality is, these are amazing bang per buck. Anything goes wrong with this Rolex, and for many, many years to come, it can be fixed and repaired. Classic things on the Rolex that make it so superior is this bracelet the bracelet on the rolex itself i mean it's it's leaps and bounds ahead of the oris and you know it's just it's just little things that the rolex does that the oris just can only dream of doing let's have a bit of a look here here's an eye here's an oris a titanium Oris. Look at this. Let's have a look. Compare, compare the two. Compare the two. And what is the real difference here? Well, if we look at them, the grade of metals used in these two watches, the Rolex is better. One of the best surgical stainless steels in the industry. Okay, this, tita this is a titanium Oris. It's not a shitter. But if we look at the how the bracelet's done, it's very generic cheap. Rolex is very unique Rolex. If we need to do something with the bracelet, it can be done. On the Oris, is it cost effective? Ditch the watch if it's going to cost too much. There's other things too. Look at that movement there. It's completely unworthy. Unworthy of being a display back. Rolex has the good sense not to do that. Because their movements aren't worthy of display. Now the thing is this. Many of these... Rolex invented the Oyster case. They do waterproofing like no other brand. The dial, you look at the dial, every piece on this Rolex is a snap above. This is made to a price point. This 
is made, yes, to a price point too, but a much higher price point. So when you compare the two, yes, these are both Swiss watches. Is it 10 times as good? Probably not. It's probably three or four times as good. And it's 10 times the money. So that's, that's kind of where we're at with these watches here. Now, the interesting thing is, you can't look at it this way and say, that's 500, this is 5,000. You put your money into these. What's going to hold its money more? The Rolex will. The Rolex. And that's a very, very important thing, see? Yes, it's more expensive. Yes, yes, yes. But you put your money into the Rolex, you'll always have your money back. And that's the beauty of buying a quality thing. At the end of the day, we go through life. Life is so short. How long have we got on the planet? We've got what? 80 years if we're lucky. 20 years, the first 20, we don't know about watches. So if we buy our first Rolex at 20, we may have 60 years left. Well, work out a cost per day to wear a Rolex. Work out a cost per day for an Oris. And throw in the fact that in 10 years' time, it'll probably be throwaway because it'll break, spring will break, can't get a part for it, it's just fucked. Whereas the Rolex can keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. It is hard to work out whether it is worth 10 times the price. Is it? No. If you're really pushed for money, don't buy it. Don't buy it at all. But in life, how long have we got on this fucking planet? How long have we got? Do we want to be the cheapest fucker on the planet? Or do we want to enjoy life? Do you want to have some fun? Do you want to savour some of the more expensive things? When you're on your deathbed, do you want to say, hey, I wish I would have bought a cheaper wristwatch? You look at your Patek as you're about to croak it, and you just say, I'm glad, it's a beautiful thing, a thing of beauty. So the question is, $500 watch, $5,000 watch, and then we have a $50,000 watch. Is it so much better? Yes, it is. It is better. It is better. And uh, whilst the Oris is no, there is no shame in having the Oris. Come on, fuckers. We've got a limited time on the planet. Get yourself something you really love. And it doesn't matter what other people think. As long as you love your Rolex, love your paddock, or love your Oris, as long as you are happy, that is all that matters in life. We have got a short time on this planet. Come on, fuckers. Work with me, not against me. Get a beautiful piece. I didn't say buy 10 of them. You don't need to buy 10. Buy one. Buy one. I was talking to a good friend, Scotty, yesterday. He's got a Batman. That is a watch for life. You don't need 10 watches. The Batman. The Batman is a wonderful piece. Is it worth... It's worth a lot more than my Explorer 2. And I would have to say, bang per buck, this is better. But it's the smile on that guy's face. It's the smile on his face that makes all the difference. Come on, fuckers. Life is too short to wear the cheapest possible watch. You're better to have one you love. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.